Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can track our footage and place 3D objects in our footage using a plugin called Element 3D. I hope you got this plugin or else I have provided a download link in the description. You can download it from there. So without any further delay, let's start. So here we are in After Effects. Now let us import our footage onto this project panel. Further right click on this project panel, import and select your file or else you can directly drop your footage onto this project panel. Here I got my footage and a screenshot of the scene which I will be using as environment map in element 3D. So now let us select both the things and drop it onto this project panel. Now select your footage and drop it onto this composition icon here. If you want to check the preview of this video, press 0 for RAM preview or space bar to play. So you can see this is handheld shot which is of full HD resolution and 24 frames per second. Fine. Okay. Now let us create a new solid layer for element. For that go to this layer options, new, solid and rename that as element just for our reference and ok. Now go to this effects and presets panel and look for element. Drop this element onto our element layer. After that in scene interface click on this scene setup. Ok. Then import your 3D model. I got a skull 3D model in OBJ format. Just click open and select ok let me show you that increase the size scale rotate this a bit there it is. click on this environment and select the screenshot ok fine okay. I downloaded this skull 3D model from a website called free3d.com. This is a free skull model. You can download it from here or else I will drop a download link in the description. You can download this model from that link. Fine. Now after that, let me disable this draft texture. Okay. So we got our 3D model onto our footage. Now let us see the preview of this. Here you can see a 3D object is not tracked here. So now let us first track our footage. Okay. Let me disable this element for time being. Now select your footage layer. Go to this tracker options. If you are not finding this tracker options here, go to this window and enable tracker from here. Okay. And in tracker options, be on the first frame and select track camera. So it starts analyzing our footage and gives us some tracking points when it's get completed. So you can see we got some tracking points. Now let me select these few tracking points here. Hold left mouse key and simply draw on these tracking points. Now right click create null and camera. Now let us bring back our element layer also. Now if you check the preview you can see our 3D model is attached to the ground in our footage. Now let us check some options in our element 3D. For that go to this group 1. Particle look. Let me change the position. Let me bring this here. Yeah. Okay. 
particle look let me change this size to 15 or else 25 so let me reposition this rotate this bit rotate this this side Next, go to this render settings, go to lighting options and see which lighting suits perfect to the footage. Here, let me check this spot or else basic, it's dark, it's 360, no, cinema, basic. I think this looks fine for this footage. So, let the lighting be set to basic go to this ambient occlusion and enable ambient increase the intensity value fine okay just play with the settings in this to get your desired output i think this looks better for me now, now let us add some blur to this 3d model for that let's just add fast blur just add it on this element layer increase this blur radius value to 0.2 it's enough yeah okay now let us add some shadow to our 3d model here so for that create a new solid layer below our element layer and rename that as shadow Make this shadow layer a 3D layer by selecting this 3D layer option. If you are not finding this option, click on this toggle switch, you will get that. Now press R on the keyboard for rotations. Change this X rotation like this. And this one, which, and bring this here. Okay. Now pick this pen tool and just mask it out. Now go to this masking feather options and increase this feather value to 75 and change the opacity for opacity press T on the keyboard change the opacity to 50. Okay. Now let us take the preview of this. So here you can see we got a shadow for our 3D model also. If you want to add more 3D models, just select this element layer, go to scene setup and you can import any other 3D models, but I will be duplicating the same model here. So select this model, right click and duplicate model. Let me bring this duplicated one side. Let me rotate it a bit like this. increase the size again if you want make another duplicate bring this one aside rotate it change the orientation and send it to back yeah okay fine once you have placed our 3d models in this you can add some different 3d models and also in different groups i'm adding the same models in the same group itself now click ok so we got our 3d models on our footage now again select this shadow layer 
duplicate it once again just move this bring this for this layer let me see So I think you got some idea on how to add 3D objects in our footage by using Element 3D. So if you have learned anything new from this, please click on that like button. Do provide your valuable feedback or comments. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And don't forget to enable the notification icon bell so that whenever I post a new video, it reaches you. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.